In this video, I will be discussing the high cost of insulin and what we need to do about it. It is a call to action. The price of insulin is unaffordable for many in the US population and is a situation that is not seen in other developed countries. And I will be going through the reasons for this problem and the possible solutions. I'm Vincent Rajkumar. I am a professor of medicine in the Division of Hematology at Mayo Clinic. I also serve as the associate editor for the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. In this month's issue, uh, I have a commentary on the high cost of insulin and a call to action. Over 7 million Americans use insulin for control of diabetes and about 1.3 to 1.5 million of these patients have type 1 diabetes for whom without insulin um, they will uh, certainly die. The price of insulin in the US is more than 10 times higher than other developed countries. So in this commentary, I take a look at what is the reason why insulin is so expensive in the US compared to other developed countries. And then I also go through some of the solutions uh, for this problem. Now, when it comes to insulin, um, one of the main reasons why it's so expensive is that it's a very valuable commodity for a vulnerable population. There's a population of patients who simply uh, cannot use insulin as a luxury. It is a necessary item uh, for survival. And in this context, they will pay anything to get access to it. Coupled with that, we have only three companies controlling most of the insulin that's currently used in the US that creates a virtual monopoly. So a monopolistic product that is very essential for a population to survive is going to together cause high prices. We also have a situation where because of various middlemen, there's synchronized price increases so that the same insulin that was sold for $20 over a 20 year period, it's increased to more than $300. And that price increase is partly because pharmaceutical companies really need to keep increasing the list price in order to provide appropriate rebates to the middlemen. Finally, there are many patent problems where the same insulin has been over patented over and over again, which prevents biosimilars and others from easily entering the market and there are delays in biosimilar in insulins coming into the market. So we have barriers to competition, which are also causing this problem. These and other factors I, will, I have discussed in this uh, commentary that I would encourage you to take a look at. Question is, what can we do about it? The solutions at the federal and state policy level require uh, legislations. Legislation to prevent price increases beyond what is common or normal for inflation. Uh, price increases with insulin have been far higher than what uh, inflation rates have been. We also have to have an uh, easier regulatory path that allows more biosimilars to enter the market to provide real competition to the current um, main analog insulins that are currently on the market. We need um, both governmental and non-governmental agencies to be set up to supervise and monitor the price so that the price doesn't keep increasing um, over time. We need uh, advocacy from patient organizations, from physician organizations, um, to counter the lobbying efforts of pharmaceutical companies so that action happens in terms of legal and legislative changes. As uh, physicians and as institutions, we have to commit ourselves to choosing the most affordable product for our patients. We should also be willing to talk about affordability with our patients and be educated on how patients that we serve can access uh, not only insulin but other prescription drugs at the lowest price. Um, so there are many efforts and solutions that I discuss in this article as well. Overall, my goal here is to um, advocate for changes and also to bring about awareness so that you and other readers can also join in this effort uh, to um, make some kind of advocacy, whether it's at your 
institutional level, at your state level, or your, at the federal level, to bring about policy changes that will provide affordable insulin uh, for patients who need it. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.